Hello and welcome to Simplified on Pardif, where we take complicated automotive ideas and break them down into bite-sized pieces that you can use easily. Today, we're answering a question you've asked, which is, is it worth replacing my normal clutch setup with a hydraulic clutch setup? Ready? Four buttons for you. Subscribe, the bell notification icon, thumbs up. Please show this video to your friends because I know that will help. So, should you be replacing your normal cable-operated clutch with a hydraulic clutch? Well, for that, let's begin with how the hydraulic clutch works versus how the cable-operated clutch works. Now, the cable-operated clutch is a very, very common way to do the clutch system on a motorcycle. But remember, the cable and the hydraulics both refer only to one part of the mechanism. Both of them do exactly the same thing. When you pull the clutch in, it separates the friction plates away from each other, effectively disengaging the engine's rotation from the rear wheel's rotation. When you let the clutch out, the clutch plates come back together again and the engine's rotation now directly affects what's happening at the rear wheel. Right? Now, the connection between the lever and the clutch is either a cable or a hydraulic system. Effectively, it's a set of levers, right? So you've got one lever here with a fulcrum here. If I make this lever longer, the amount of effort that I have to put into the lever reduces. So one way to reduce clutch effort, because remember, the reason why you want to switch to a hydraulic clutch is primarily to reduce the amount of work that you have to do here. So one way to do this, if this is your lever and you're using the clutch like this, you just move your finger outwards, you've just increased the lever arm, the amount of effort that you're going to spend using the clutch is going to reduce. And notice, I use only two fingers for my clutch. I would use one if I could, because this gives you more control and modulation than putting four fingers on it. If you can't use two fingers because your fingers get trapped under the clutch, adjust your clutch. That's how it's supposed to be and that's why most cable clutches will have an adjuster right there. Right? So the one way to reduce clutch effort is to simply move your fingers further outwards on the lever. The further out that you can take your fingers, the less effort it will be. So that's trick one. Now I can understand that this is a very uncomfortable way to have the clutch fingers, but what I would do is when I'm riding normally, I use the clutch this way because it's not a lot of clutch use, is it? But when I'm in heavy traffic for that much time, I might shift my fingers a little bit because remember, at slower speeds, the amount of control that you have to exert on the motorcycle is relatively less, but you're going to use the clutch more. So I simply move my hand a little bit and I achieve the same result. The other thing that happens is that this lever is connected by the cable or the hydraulics to another lever that is down sitting on top of your clutch box. It usually looks like a finger, there's a cable that comes in and mounts to it and there's a fulcrum point on the middle around which this lever rotates. Right? What you can also do, if you're, especially if you're mechanically minded, is to just make a longer lever there and again you will increase the leverage, which means the amount of force you have to exert at the lever will come down again. If you want to see an example of this, I think a company called Camel ADV makes the one finger clutch for the 790 and the 890 adventure motorcycles. Okay, and all they do is give you a different lever for the thing that is sitting on top of your clutch box. You change that lever and the amount of work that you have to do on the cable operated clutch reduces. I'm saying that these are the two solutions I would gravitate towards because it is far less complicated than installing a hydraulic system to do the same thing. How a hydraulic system does this is if you understand how hydraulics as principle works is I can magnify the force by changing the size of the pistons that are moving, right? So if I have a very small piston here and a much larger piston here, a small amount of force here can generate quite a bit of force on the other side. And that's how a basic hydraulic system works and that's how the hydraulic clutch works where you'll have relatively less effort here, produce a much larger amount of effort down there so you can make your clutch much stronger and still enjoy a relatively light lever effort. But if your motorcycle has a cable operated clutch, the expense and complexity of adding hydraulics back to it is far more complicated and far more expensive than two simple tricks, one of which is free. So what I suggest is if you have a cable operated clutch and you're struggling with it, first, in traffic, move your finger. So when you're using the clutch a lot, just move your finger further outward on the lever. That should immediately reduce the work that you have to do. And two, if that's not enough, then figure out from another motorcycle or get one made. It's not complicated anymore. Machining is quite easy to find in India now. Get a longer lever made for the bottom. The longer the lever is, the less clutch effort you'll have to put. When you're making a longer lever though, remember to work the clearances out because this lever does rotate a little bit, so it should not be touching the engine on one side, which is a hot unit. It shouldn't be rotating out of the motorcycle entirely because then your foot will be messing with it and you may not be able to operate your clutch completely. But between these two things, you should be able to lower your clutch effort to a level where you don't have to pay attention to it again. 
It's not that I'm not a fan of hydraulic clutches. Some of my motorcycles do have hydraulic clutches. But to me, if a manufacturer is using a cable operated clutch, I would rather find solutions for that than replace the entire system with an expensive and more complicated fluid filled system. It just adds to the amount of work I have to do before I can start riding the motorcycle. Thank you so much for watching. This is a short simplified on part where we discussed how you solve the problem of too much clutch effort on a cable operated clutch and a hydraulic clutch is not always the solution. If you'd like to discuss this further, leave us a comment. If there's other topics you'd like to see on Simplified, that's all you have to do. Leave us a comment and we'll get right on it. Thank you so much for watching. This is Power Drift. Four buttons for you. Please do hit them.